Probably the biggest learning though that has occurred all over the country and personally, and certainly for, for NC State, is around testing. And the ability to have an adequate re-entry testing as in, in addition to surveillance testing during the semester is just critically important so that you get ahead of the virus before it spreads dramatically. When we started the fall semester, testing was not as available as it is now, number one. And number two, the turnaround time was, was very long, uh, anywhere from four to seven days. So it's very difficult to use testing as a control strategy when you don't get the results back for that length of time. And that's improved access to testing, doing our own uh, testing with our own facilities in, in collaboration, in many cases with Carolina, uh, all of those things will give us much more confidence that we know what we have and where we have it and, and get, be able to, as, um, as I think Barney Fife once uh, said on Andy Griffith, uh, nip it in the bud. And so get ahead of it before it's out of control. There are really two kinds of testing. There's, there's uh, symptomatic testing where a student or a faculty or staff goes to uh, their doctor or go to the student health and says, you know, I have symptoms and I'm worried I may have the virus. And you, and you test them to determine if that's true. Uh, that's symptomatic testing. Asymptomatic testing or surveillance testing is where you just uh, routinely and sometimes randomly test a group of students, faculty or staff to determine whether how many within that cohort have the virus. And that gives you a sense of how prevalent the virus is in the community. And so our surveillance testing going into the fall was around 500 per week of students, faculty and staff. Going into the spring, it will be closer to 2,500. And, uh, and so that will give us a much wider view of if there is virus on our campus, and if so, is it prevalent? For us, most surveillance testing is well below 1%, 1 in 100, often 1 in 500. And, and that'll help us know that we've got things under control.